Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. This is super, super exciting because we have our first look at LEGO Minifigures Series 22. Without further ado, let's jump right into the analysis of these minifigures. So it looks like the first minifigure we got here is a yellow kind of hazard maintenance robot, something like that, and he has a little brick-built friend there. I really like this figure. It's very reminiscent of the Series 4 hazmat suit guy, and it uses the welding mask in yellow. I think this is a great figure, and just basically what you'd expect from a CMF line. Something a little more unique, but definitely useful in all kinds of mocks. Now, next we have the chili pepper kind of suit girl. I like this figure. I think it definitely fits in with the rest of the food kind of stuff we've got. And her accessory is a glass of milk because I guess that like cancels out the spicy chili. The only thing I don't like about this is there's no like regular minifigure compatible chili piece um, to kind of go with it. But otherwise, that's totally fine. And then one of my favorites of the series up next here is kind of a bard. Um, something you'd find in a medieval or fantasy setting, and he has a lute, um, which is an old kind of instrument, and it looks like he has some coins or something, some little round tiles to go along with it. This is definitely one of my favorites because it's super useful for so many different medieval mocks, which I really love to build. And then it's a little hard to see, but we have kind of a snowy warrior here for number four. He's got a husky, which is not too rare, but a nice new printed shield with a snowflake and possibly the new sword piece, I'm not sure. does look like he's got dual molded legs, though, as with the bard from the previous figure, and he's got a cool snowy hat. Um, probably some pretty great, great printing there. It's kind of hard to see because the reflection on the paper. Not one of my favorites of the series, but a good inclusion nonetheless. And then next up here, we've got a kind of a horse trainer girl. Um, she's got mid legs, which is nice, and the most important thing is, of course, the new young horse, kind of full. I'm not sure how to pronounce that word, but anyway, she's also got a carrot and a nice new recolor of the uh, hidden side hat there in dark red and black. This is a figure um, kind of following up in the recent CMF tradition of just having a great accessory with a meh figure, uh, but otherwise the plaid shirt looks fine, and I think this is a appropriate figure for CMF line. Then next up here for number six, we've got a figure skater. Now this, in my opinion, is a huge downgrade from the Series 4 figure skater, which was really great. There's no cloth skirt or anything. It's just got a recolor of the hair from the um, Queer Eye set, and yeah, it's fine. Not one of my favorites, though. Probably my least favorite of the series. Next up here, we've got the Moon Warrior. Now this is a really weird one. I don't really understand what it's based off of. That being said, I really like the printing. Definitely going to pick up a couple of these. The hair and head are kind of cool. I do wish there was a helmet, though. Um, and it's got that trans dark purple or trans purple regular shield and sword piece that uh, probably first came in the Gungan attack set um, way back in, like, 2012-ish. Now, for this one, number eight here in the series, this is probably my favorite of the series entirely. It's kind of a forest guy. I absolutely love his cute little mushroom. I want to get a ton of those so bad. Looks like he's got mid legs, too, and a, an adorable acorn hat. Absolutely love that character. Now on to the last row here, we've got kind of an animal um, researcher, kind of how they've been doing recently with the diver who in series 20, um, which had the sea turtle. This looks great with a new toucan mold. I appreciate how they've got the plant piece in lime green. They did not have to do that. The dual molded legs look super useful. Uh, otherwise, the figure itself is fine, I guess. Uh, not Nothing too exciting, but the new prints, I think, on there will be useful. Now we've got the raccoon girl. This, I think, is one of the better um, recent kind of animal costume pieces. It's dual mold legs look great. The trash can and bag are appropriate accessories. And the head mold, while not new, is also good good reuse. I just wish there was kind of a raccoon actual you know animal piece to go along with it. Then finally here for number 11, we've got kind of an alien guy. Um, not super excited about this one, if I'm going to be honest. He's got some nice recolors and the great print of the Classic Space logo. Some nice arm printing, I guess, but just something about this figure is not super exciting. I like how they've got the Ladybug and Bee costume kind of reuse there, the head piece. That's nice, but nah, this is not a super exciting one. I think this spot could have been better used doing something else. But nonetheless, coming into number 12 spot here, uh, I like this figure. It's got a racing kind of wheelchair and a metal. This is great. You know, there's never been anything kind of like this in LEGO before, so I appreciate that they're going something, doing something new that they've never done before, and, you know, kind of having a, a, a bit of diversity in their series. I think that's kind of cool. So, yeah, definitely a useful piece for um, a lot of mocks, maybe in your city or whatever, you know, racing wheelchair, very new mold and stuff, and I like the helmet, too. I think that's going to be very useful for a lot of city builders, um, and it looks like he's got dual molded arms there, probably a new face print, so yeah. Overall, I really like this series. Um, significantly better than series, you know, 21 uh, there. And, you know, I did not like series 
19 that much. Series 20 I thought was okay. But yeah, this is a good one in my opinion. I like the packaging or the coloring so far. I'm still disappointed that they've only got uh, 12 series, 12, sorry, 12 figures in a series nowadays, but what do you do about that? I mean, some figures I'm definitely going to pick up would include the Forest Boy, the Night Girl. Um, I do really like the Toucan Lady, although I'd probably want to get the kind of uh, Hazard Robot guy first, and definitely the Bard. So I'm probably going to go for those top four figures there. Let me know what you guys think about this new series down in the comments below. I have not seen too many people being talking about this series yet, so make sure to smash that subscribe button for more LEGO news and LEGO mocks coming in the future. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching, stay tuned for more. Peace.